Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be chatting about what exactly WhatsApp Business is and why you need it as a small business owner. If you've not yet caught up on any of my previous videos, this channel is serving as a major resource, hopefully, for people who are wanting to learn more about how WhatsApp Business can be used to elevate their small business's social media presence. And this video is going to be a slightly more chatty and updated one. So if you're keen for that, then please do stick around. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Megs and every week I release tech tutorials helping you do digital better. So I first started making videos about WhatsApp business four years ago when it was an Android only app and I do believe it wasn't even available many other places in the world. So because South Africa is a key market for WhatsApp, as is India for example, we often actually get new features and new access quicker than the rest of the world. So when I happened upon this incredible standalone app that was freely downloadable on the Android store, now also the App Store, thank goodness for me, the ultimate Apple user, it now means that we can easily download an app that up-levels our business presence and has a bunch of functionalities that our normal WhatsApp just simply doesn't. First off, let's start chatting about what WhatsApp business is and how it differs from bots and the API. So you might be a little bit confused in terms of what parts of WhatsApp should and shouldn't you be using as a small business owner. So if you found that using WhatsApp for your business has been great, but there's a little bit of stuff that's actually missing from that customer experience, then WhatsApp business is probably going to become your best friend. It has some key bits of functionality which really do differentiate it from WhatsApp and make it very much worth the switch. These key functionalities include things like a greeting message, which is going to greet people any time of the day or night, regardless of whether you're on your phone or not, which is going to make a up-leveled customer experience because you can get quite creative with how you come back to people. Please be sure in this greeting message to include links and innovative ways in which you can basically keep someone busy while you're not yet at your phone. So this could be a link to a PDF which has your menu of services. Let's say you are a hair salon or a beauty business and you actually want to get awareness for your business in terms of what your packages are. This greeting message is the perfect way in which you can do that. Similarly, there's an away message which is also an automated message you can set up which is going to tell people thank you so much for your message effectively and still also, as I say, give them something to do while you're running around running your business and just to buy you a little bit of time to come back to that customer. The other thing that is vastly different from WhatsApp to WhatsApp business is the catalog functionality. So the catalog functionality is what's going to allow you to upload up to 50 products or services each with 10 product images. This is absolute gold because it means that people can easily see your inventory, what you're selling and your price points. Although payments are probably not yet handled in your country, there's only very limited countries where WhatsApp Pay is currently available. What it does mean is it's getting people so much closer to that checkout point. The other key bit of functionality that it has is a business profile where you can list your URL and a little bio. Think of it like your Instagram bio, which is going to tell people how to get in touch with you, what they can expect from your business and much more. But then what is like WhatsApp is that WhatsApp statuses are still going to be super critical in terms of engaging frequently with the customer in a non-invasive way. So because broadcast messaging and WhatsApp groups work the same way as WhatsApp business as on WhatsApp, the way in which I'm going to encourage that you get that frequency up in terms of touching base with your customer is actually through WhatsApp statuses. The sectors in which this works incredibly well would be something like real estate because it means that if, for example, you were posting about your most recent listing using, I don't know, maybe some beautiful Canva designs, you can get creative with it. If someone swipes up, it's going to engage in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. The other way, of course, you can use the most popular trend there is pretty much in social media, which is vertical video content, to post 30 second videos on WhatsApp, which people again can swipe up to and then go on and chat to you. You can also include links, so you can use it to drive traffic to somewhere else. But all in all, there is quite a rich suite of products on WhatsApp business, which is going to set it dramatically apart from WhatsApp, and it's going to give you legitimacy and credibility in your business. That being said, of course, it's not a silver bullet. So there are instances in which a customer would need more functionality, in which case I would suggest 
using a WhatsApp bot builder. My favorite is Builderbot, which I have linked for you down below. I've also made videos in the past about how I've built bots in two minutes or less. So here you'll get a great understanding of how you can use middleware, which sits on top of the WhatsApp API and allows you to build customer journeys. So this is a little bit more complicated than a WhatsApp business, but it's still very easy and you don't need code in order to do this. It's basically a WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get builder. So think of it as like a Wix or a Squarespace, but it's designed to create mobile journeys. Bear in mind that it is a premium offering because it's sitting on top of a software as a service platform or SAAS. So there is going to be a little bit of cost involved from the bot side of things, but definitely well worth it if you're battling with the volumes that you're seeing on WhatsApp business. So if, for example, you wanted to do some sort of lead warming, you could do it with a bot. If you wanted to do lead acquisition and actually gain more information from the customer, if you wanted to ask them survey questions, you wouldn't actually have to link them out to like a survey monkey or a Google form. You could actually gather and aggregate all of that information within WhatsApp. What I really like about WhatsApp bots is it unleashes the button functionality, which means that you can have call to action or CTA buttons. So instead of someone having to answer in full, which they used to have to do previously, they can answer a poll and just literally have that information be gleaned immediately. So there's the WhatsApp polls functionality as well as the WhatsApp buttons, which are going to allow people to choose, for example, what age demographic do you fall within? They could literally hit a button and that would be captured by the bot. Finally, if you are an enterprise client or you have a much more complicated need, so that would be things like integrating with a CRM platform, integrating maybe with an e-com backend, anything like that, particularly the examples that you see from airlines, like let's say Lufthansa, or in South Africa, we have Fly Safair that use it to, to deliver personalized boarding passes. They are definitely using the API. This requires developers to actually have intimate understanding of the WhatsApp backend and WhatsApp API integrations. You can also see from a backend perspective, what are people answering to your questions, which is going to be really helpful for you, either from a market research perspective, a lead acquisition perspective, a lead warming perspective, like pretty much any perspective in marketing. <laughs> you can also use bots for competition entry mechanics, which is really cool. So instead of having to SMS in a short code or use USSD, which was typically very popular in South Africa, you can now run competitions using Builderbot. Then finally, we have that WhatsApp API, which like I mentioned, a lot more sophisticated. It's going to do a lot more things, integrate with a lot more places, but the con being you actually need to apply to WhatsApp in order to get access to that API in the first place. So not everyone can use it. And again, there's pricing implications there in order to develop customer journeys, which sit on top of WhatsApp. So really you're seeing a spectrum where WhatsApp is the most simple way in which we can engage with the app. WhatsApp business gives us those key additional functionalities. Art builders are really what's going to then up level it one step further, which allows you to develop custom journeys where people are able to basically answer either a series of questions or go through a series of steps. So that's what I love about WhatsApp. There really are so many options. I love their business model. The fact that it's free for consumers, which has given them this 2 billion monthly active users stat, which is crazy. And then the businesses are able to come on that in the way that they see fit. More recently, you also notice how WhatsApp is managing to monetize is through things like verification ticks, as well as all of this transactional potential that it has. It really creates an ecosystem for themselves where customers as well as businesses are really thriving. Please do let me know if this video was helpful at all. If you have any questions or comments, please do pop them down below. I would only be too happy to help and I cannot wait to see you in the next video so we can keep on doing digital better.